Greek yogurt, yogurt, or sorry, <laughs> is it yogurt or yogurt? Depends where you're from, I guess. Hey guys, I'm Ross. And I'm Beck. Last month, we answered some really honest questions about Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And if you missed that video, check it out here. This month, we're in Athens, Greece, and well, we're gonna do a similar thing. We're gonna answer our honest thoughts on the city, but we're gonna switch the tables a bit. And we've come up with six questions each. They're secret. Beck has no idea what mine are. And, <laughs> we'll try not to clash. <laughs> we won't, well, we'll try not to clash. We'll try, we've got backups. We have got some backups, <laughs> but yeah, she hasn't seen my questions, I haven't seen hers, and we're just gonna answer them as honestly as we can about Greece and Athens in particular. So, hope you guys like it, and uh, let's have some fun. <laughs> Beck, it's your first time in Greece. Sum it up in three words. I'm gonna have to change one of my questions already. Three words. Uh, I'm gonna say historic, delicious, and trendy. Very good. Okay, since you stole my not so original first question, sure. <laughs> sum up Athens in one word. One word. Cultured. Yeah, cultured. What was your favorite tourist site and why? Okay, it may seem like an obvious choice, but I have to say the Acropolis. It's absolutely breathtaking and I just like that the whole city looks up to it. You can just see it from so many different locations in the city. And yeah, it gives the whole place just this awesome feeling. Favourite food in Athens and why? Oh, all of it! All of it! Big one! Uh, for me, seafood. Um, yeah, like squid and octopus and sardines. For me, uh, I would say seafood. Seafood for sure. Maybe cheating, but I'll allow. Worst thing about Greece? It's a tricky Aww. question. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to say other tourists. Obviously some of them are lovely like us, but uh, some of them are just a little bit rude. And you know, at, like at the changing of the guards, some of them were mocking the guards in their process. It just seemed a bit rude and yeah, I didn't like that. What is Greek culture really like? That's a tough question. The people are so trusting and helpful. I guess you could say friendly. Um, the amount of times that we would catch a, a train or a bus and uh, old Greek men tapping me on the shoulder, giving me their, their still valid ticket and saying, hey, go for free. Um, that just the way that they help people in the streets, it's not like anywhere else in the world. Um, and I'd just say that they're family orientated, food obsessed, and often we go out and see big tables of massive families and they're just feasting and breaking bread together. So yeah, it's it's beautiful to see. Um, yeah, really friendly culture. Honest thoughts on the graffiti right across the city. Right. Well, in general, I actually really love it. There are lots of sections that are just tags or political or rude things on the walls, but generally it has a really cool vibe. When we first arrived, I was really surprised 
and taken back a little bit by how much there was, but you get used to it and the city has just a really cool feeling and there's a lot of really cool street art. But yeah, I know it won't be everyone's cup of tea. How did you get around in Greece? We mainly caught trains. Uh, trains are precise. They come exactly when they say they'll be there. We caught some buses that sometimes, uh, you know, the path looks good, but they just never come. And then suddenly, an hour and a bit later, three rock up in one go. So, yeah, for us, the reliable way was trains or just the old school feet. Just walk. Greek yogurt or Greek salad? Ooh. Gotta go with Greek yogurt with the walnuts and the honey. Yum. I do, well, I do like a Greek salad, but we eat that pretty much every day. Internet speeds? Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> Internet. Uh, if you missed our other video on uh, Airbnb and the disaster that we had there, make sure you check that one out. Um, but yeah, internet speeds, probably like every city, you vary in the different areas. Um, so I would actually say some of the technology is a bit old, sadly. But yeah, there are some more modern areas where, yeah, they've got some decent fiber um, internet. So you've just got to kind of do your research and, and look around. So yeah, internet, it's just a pass for me, just a pass. Yeros or Suvlaki? Ooh, it's got to be Euros, especially the one from Savas. It's absolutely delicious, mind-blowing, change your life delicious. You've got to check it out. Your biggest regret for our time in Athens? Ooh, I hate, hate regrets. Um, what's a regret? What's a regret? Uh, all right, probably the biggest regret uh, I've got, I know Beck definitely has as well, is uh, we wish we did have the opportunity to go to the islands and check out, you know, all the amazing Greek islands. But, well, we work online and we need um, a stable place where we do slow travel. We stay in a city for a month and we work for that month before moving on. Uh, it's just too hard to do it jumping around everywhere. So yeah, islands are a big regret. They're still on our bucket list. Um, yeah, totally. The islands. Islands and internet <sighs> kind of don't go well together. Okay, I'm cheating a bit. This isn't an original question, but what was the worst thing about Greece for you? <laughs> oh, well, this one's easy. Uzo, I am so sorry to all my Greek friends that we've met over the last month, but I really don't like Uzo, and I know that you guys love it, so you keep it. It's all yours. Uh, for me, I'll just uh, I'll stick to beer. I, I love Greek beer. It's delicious, but you drink the Uzo. Honestly, you drink it. I don't need it. I'll have it. You can have it. Beck likes it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not for me. Not my bag. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We've absolutely loved our stay in Athens. We really don't want to leave. We hope we weren't too honest for you today. <laughs> uh, but yeah, leave some comments down below if you like this kind of video. We're heading to Sofia next, so we'll be sure to do a similar type video there as well and give you our honest opinions there. So uh, yeah. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. And hit the thumbs up if you like this video. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.